Um, speaking of families, I've been feeling kind of bad that I never told you about mine. So, I gave my brothers a call so you could meet them. What? Come on in, guys. Bob, this is Bob, Steve, and Mark the Cucumbers. Uh, well, hi, guys. It's really great to meet you. Uh... Oh, uh, did I mention they're not much for talking? Uh, no, you didn't mention that. But they sure can sing. Well, that's nice. Okay, bros. We're over here by Cordy to talk about what we learned today. Da, ya, da, da, da. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. And God has a lot to say in this book. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that was, uh, nice. Real nice. Bye, bros. They have to get back to the hardware store. The hardware store? Yep. I chose a life of show business. They chose a life of hardware. Uh, but they sing so nice. You should see them with the table saw. Uh-huh. Well, let's see if Cordy has a verse for us today. <laughs> Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Romans 12:10. Just like in the story of Miriam and Moses. Miriam learned to think first about what her little brother needed. She showed love to him by protecting him, even though it was hard. Yep. And in the story of the princess in the pie war, Duke, Sweet Petunia, and Nona all looked out for each other because each wanted the others to be happy. So you see, Cody, God gave us families to help each other. The very best way to show love to your new little brother is to think about him first, kind of like the way your mom looks out for you. That'll help him grow up to be a great brother, and you'll feel great because you helped. That's right, because true love always thinks of others first. Well, that's all the time we have for today, kids. Always remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Uh, uh Bob, I'll see you later. I gotta go do a video link with my dad. Y your dad? Yeah, he's an astronaut. He's in orbit, and I gotta wish him a happy birthday. See ya, kids. Larry, we gotta talk more.